The Cascade County legal community is mourning the loss of Judge Thomas McKittrick. He died recently. He served on the bench for nearly 30 years, and although it's been over a decade since he retired, those who knew him best have some lasting memories. I spoke with one such person. He was a good judge. I thought he was very fair. Julie Scanlon served as judicial administrative assistant to Judge Thomas McKittrick for 10 years. She remembers him as firm but fair and always full of stories, which he often told while sitting across from her outside his chambers. He was an attorney back east, and so he had a lot of stories about certain people, types of people that he represented as defense counsel back east. A lot of stories about, uh, about them. Um, just stories from his childhood growing up in Anaconda. McKittrick presided over some high profile cases during his time on the bench, including a triple homicide in which a prominent Great Falls doctor and his wife and daughter were killed. The murder trial of Alan Reevely and the murder trial of Wilfred Morrissey. So we had court TV here and, and Dateline, and so those were pretty good. Those were big cases. He took a lot of time preparing on those cases for verdicts. It was very difficult when you have you know, family sitting in the courtroom. McKittrick's tenure also included the death penalty case of Duncan Peter McKenzie, who in 1995 became the first person executed in Montana since 1943. After serving as Chief Deputy Cascade County Attorney from 1978 to 1983, he was appointed to the bench in the 8th District by then Governor Ted Schwinden. He wanted to give people a chance at rehabilitation, but he also believed that there, there should be some kind of punishment you know, for some crimes or that people needed to have an opportunity to get treatment and to better themselves. Scanlon says it wasn't uncommon for the people he sent to prison to later show appreciation. There was one person who had been put in prison, I believe it was for an attempted homicide. And when he got out of prison, he was a, he was a big guy, had a lot of felony convictions, came up and actually spoke to the judge several times, was very pleasant, said it kind of turned his life around. When he announced his retirement in 2012, McKittrick told MTN a number of people he put behind bars considered him a friend. And I think they recognize that uh, even though I did perhaps have to incarcerate them, that I was trying to help them in the process. And I've had people come to me afterwards and uh, tell me that my words, uh, although may, may be very stern, that it sunk in and they were doing quite well. He was a wonderful person. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.